Now, if you have a Fi Stick or a Fi TV and you find your device is always running slow, maybe you're also experiencing buffering in your streaming applications, probably the most common advice you're going to get is make sure you stop background applications on your device. And as you can imagine, the more things that are running in the background, the more applications, the more processes running, they will slow your device down. The question is, what is the best way to close down these applications running in the background? Now there is a free application called Background Apps and Process List, and there's also another application called the Fast Task Killer. Now I have covered this application some time back. It is a good application, but it doesn't actually target anything running in the background. It only targets your foreground applications. Now probably the easiest way to demonstrate this is if I open up the background apps and process list, let's click on that. This will do a scan on my device and it's now telling me that I have 18 applications open, background applications open on my device. So everything from YouTube to Award VPN to Netflix, for example. Now if I press back, let's now try the fast task killer and see what it does on my device. So if I press the select button on that, and we can see we get a display message saying that lots of processes have been terminated, RAM has also been freed up, which should be good for my device. Now I'm not challenging that aspect. What I'm actually challenging is if I now go to background apps and process list, if the fast task killer had actually terminated these processes, there should be nothing in the background apps and process list now. But we can see when I open this application, we have, we actually have 19 now. So something else has now decided to spawn in the background. And we have a total of 19 applications now running on my device. Now, depending on how actively you use your device, how often you restart it, you may be shocked to actually discover how many of these things are running in the background. In fact, do leave me a comment below and let me know when you open up this application, how many things were running in the background on your device. Now we can see again, my device has 19 applications running in the background. Now we can also use this application to close off these processes, but it's something that has to be done manually and it's something that has to be done one at a time. So if I click on close multiple, I can now say I want to close off uh, Xiaomi TV and also Disney Plus. I can now go back to the top and select close selected apps. Let's press the select button. And what this now does is it goes to the settings of this application and allows me to click on for stop. So let me do that now. Once that's done, I can now press back. So that was Xiaomi TV. Then it takes me to the next application that I'd selected, which was Disney Plus. And I can also select for stop. Let's press for stop. Let's now go back. So we know we had 19 applications before and we can see we now have 17. So it definitely works. Four stop is the correct way to properly terminate applications in the background. But as you can see, if you have lots of applications to terminate, it can take some time. And this is where I developed my own application, the TDUK App Killer, which will essentially allow you to close all these applications with one click. And you can also whitelist applications, which basically means that they will stay alive in the background and won't be terminated. Applications like your VPN or maybe your mouse toggle or a custom launcher, as you want to keep those running, you can actually select them to be whitelisted. Okay, so let's now demonstrate that. Let's press back. And here we have the TDUK app killer, which is available directly on the Amazon app store, as well as the Google play store. Let's open that up. Okay, so we can now make a connection. Of course, you do have to enable ADB debugging before you use this application. I can now press select and we've now made a connection. Now, the first thing to demonstrate is if I do a count of total applications, let's press select and we can see correctly matching up with what we saw on the background apps and process list, we have 17 applications running in the background. Now, if I just go to the whitelist for a second, I just want to double check to see, have I got anything selected? And we can see just what is enabled. Let me turn that off. As I just want to demonstrate me terminating everything. Okay, this is enabled. Let's turn that off. So now we can see no applications are in my whitelist. Let's press back. Let's just do a count one more time. We have 17 as expected. And now we can see guys, if I click on four stop all apps, we can say ready, steady, go. In less than a second, 16 of those 17 applications have now been terminated. 
the reason why it's 16 out of 17 is the missing application is the actual app killer itself. So I can now click on exit. Let's now do the validation. And this is how you correctly confirm what is running in the background. Let's open this up. And we can see just like that guys, 17 applications have now been terminated in less than a second. My device now has nothing running in the background, which means my device now has more memory. And with the more memory, it means I can reduce the chance of getting buffering and really just improve the performance of my Fire Stick or Fire TV or really any of these supported devices. The application does cost $1.99. It's a lifetime license. You buy it once, you get lifetime upgrades, and you can install it on as many devices as you like from the same platforms. So it doesn't really matter if you have one Fire Stick or 20 Fire Sticks with that single 199 cost, you can install the application on all of your devices. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below if you've used the Fast Task Killer before or the Background App Store Process List, or if you also use the TDUK App Killer. Do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.